Shalom class. My name is uh, Innocent Mapanda and thank you so much for tuning in to your favorite channel. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on the topic of uh, sequence and series, right? So I have extracted a question uh, from November uh, 2009, paper one, uh, Simsek. It reads, in an arithmetic uh, progression, the sixth term is half the fourth term, and the third term is 15. Find the first term and the common difference are uh, four marks. Right. Saying uh, this is uh, an AP uh, or the arithmetic uh, progression. You need to understand the formulas that are used uh, in an AP uh, to find the nth term. Right. So the nth term, which I'm going to denote as UN, is found by the formula A plus D, open bracket, uh, N minus 1. A plus D, open bracket, N minus 1. This is the formula for the nth term of the arithmetic progression. So they are saying the sixth term, which is U6, right, is equivalent to half of the fourth term. So it means U6 is going to be equivalent to half of U4. This is going to give you uh, equation number one. I hope you are following. So, how do you find U6? To find U6, you simply put 6 on N. So, you get 6 minus 1, which is good as 5. So, it gives you A plus 5D, which is the U6. I hope you are following. So, this U6 is equals to half U4. And to find U4, you put 4 on N. 4 minus 1, you get 3. So, you write A plus 3D. I hope you are following class. So, if I cross multiply both sides by 2 to clear up the fraction, it means on this side, you are going to get 2A plus 10D. Then on the left side, you remain with A plus 3D. This is done or achieved by multiplying both sides with 2. You multiply with the 2 on the left and on the right. So you can notice that 2 and 2, they cancel off each other, leaving you with A plus D on the right. Then if this 2 multiplies all the terms inside the bracket, you get 2A plus 10D. I hope you are following class. So let us collect the like terms. If A moves to the left, you get 2A minus A. If D moves to the left, you get 10D minus 3D. Then you leave this right side with 0. So 2A minus A, you get A, right A. Then 10D Minus 3D, it gives you 7D. Then equate this with, with the 0. So this is our first equation. We move on to the next information. And the third term is 15. So they are saying U3, which is our third term, is equivalent to, to 15. So how do you find U3? You substitute 3 on N in the Nth formula. So 3 minus 1, you get 2. So you get A plus 2D is equals to 15. So we need to solve it simultaneously with the equation above. Right. So for the equation above, we can make a, the subject by moving 
uh, 7D to the right, you get A is equals to minus 7D. So I'm now sub-shooting minus 7D on A to find D. You get uh, minus 7D plus 2D is equals to 15. Minus 7D plus 2D, you get minus 5D. It's close to 15. Then you divide both sides by minus 5. It gives you D. It's close to minus 3, which is the common difference. I hope you are following class. Right. So to find the first term, you need to understand that the first term is represented by the letter A. So remember, we have made A the subject of the formula in equation number one. So to find A, we simply need to put minus three on D, since we now know that D is minus three. So minus seven times minus three, you get uh, 21. 21 is the first term, and minus three is the common difference. Then you are Part A2, find the number of terms needed to give the sum that is less than uh, 65, right? So they want you to find the number of terms, right, where the sum is less than 65. What you need to understand is, you need to understand the formula, the sum of the first n terms in an AP. That formula is obtained by n over 2, open bracket, 2a, plus d, open bracket, uh, n minus 1. This is the formula for the sum of the first n terms in an AP. Another formula is Sn is equals to n over 2, a plus l. But the second one, I'm going to leave it since the last term is not given or the last term of the sequence is not known. Right. And so I'm going to say n over 2 open bracket uh, 2a plus d open bracket n minus 1. We need the number of terms which makes the sum to be less than 65. This is the requirement of the question. Needed to give the sum that is less than uh, 65. So now that for the first term and the common difference, we substitute uh, A with the trend one. So you put 21 on A. Then remember D is minus 3. Then you say N minus 1 is less than uh, 65, uh, something like this. So I'm going to start by multiplying both sides with 2, which is not going to affect my inequality sign because 2 is positive. So no inequality sign is going to be re reversed. So you get N open bracket, 2 times 21, it gives you 42. Then minus 3 times n, you get minus 3n, minus and minus, you get plus. 3 times 1, you get 3. It's less than uh, 1 third, uh, something like this. Then expand uh, this bracket. 42n minus 3n squared plus 3n is less than uh, 1 third. I hope you are following class. Right. Then we move uh, everything to the right side. So you get 0, 3n squared, then 42n plus 3n it gives you 45n, but it becomes minus 45n 
plus one third, uh, something like this. So I have moved the terms on the left to the right side. Minus three squared becomes positive. Then 42n plus 3n is 45. But if you move it to the right, it becomes uh, negative 45. I hope you are following class. So let me say uh, n is equals to minus b. b is minus 45 plus or minus square root of minus 45 squared minus 4. A is 3 and C is 1 third all over to 2A where A is 3. Minus and minus you get a positive 45. So you write positive 45 plus or minus. Then I'm going to punch all the terms inside the square root. You get 465. So you put square root of uh, 465 divided by divided by by six right so if we punch this in our calculator you get uh 11 comma one then uh 45 minus 465 divided by six you get uh three comma nine one so these are going to act as our critical values where three comma nine one is going to take uh, the smaller value in leg 11, 1, the bigger value. So do not forget that the inequality is equal to 0, less than 3n squared minus 45n uh, plus 1 third. Right. So if you have a positive value of n squared, it means that your graph is going to be U-shaped. But if the value on n squared is negative, it face downwards. So this region represents n is greater than 11, 1. This region represents 3, 9, 1, less than n, uh, less than 11, 1. This one denotes n is less than uh, 3, 9, 1, right? So this function is greater than 0. This function is greater than 0. So it means we need the values which are above this number line. And the values are n less than 3,9. Union n rather than e 11,1. Right, we move on to part B of the question. It reads, evaluate, uh, we are given summation from RS course 1 up to the 10th term, right? Um, 3 open bracket, 3 quarter to the power of R, are giving your answer correct to four significant uh, figures. So let us find the first three terms um, of the sequence. Since we have one, we need to put one on R to find the first term. So this is your first term here. Then the second term, you put 2 on R. Then you put um, 3 on R. Uh, something like this. So it goes on up to, to U10. Right, uh, something like this. But you can notice that there is a common ratio, which is 3 quarter. If you divide the second term with the first term, you get three quarter. If you divide the third term with the second term, you get three quarter. Meaning to say that three quarter is your common ratio. Then A denotes the first term. And this is your first term. If we simplify it, three times three, you get nine. So it means your first term is nine quarter or nine over four. So the sum of the first n terms in a GP is different from the sum of the first n terms in an AP. For GP, you say A open bracket, right? Uh, 1 minus R to the power of n divided by 1 minus R. Put 9 over 4 on A, then you say 1 minus R is 3 quarter. 
raise it with uh, n, which is 10. Remember, we've got 10 terms. Right, then here you say 1 minus 3 quarter. Uh, something like this. Right, so 1 minus 3 quarter is good as 1 quarter. So I'm going to say 9 over 4 divided by 1 over 4. You get 9. 1 minus 3 quarter to the power of 10. So here I'm saying 1 minus 3 quarter, you get 1 quarter. Then 1 quarter into 9 over 4, you get 9. So to find the answer, you just uh, punch this, which can be written as 8, 493 to 4 significant figures required. Then you are warm and dry. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, tutorial. Till we meet again, shalom.